when we live purpose, we actually are who we really are. And I think when who we, we are who we are, we live a better life. I don't know if you are doing that. I hope so. I don't know. So in Portuguese, the, the, the translation is uh, only you can do you. This for me is really powerful. Like only you can do you. When, when we start to understand that our uniqueness is our power, our uniqueness is what makes us be connected with our purpose, we become a lot more stronger. You now I remember when uh, I started to speak and I wanted to do you know, this work that I'm doing, I many times were like judging me for my differences in the beginning. Many times we judge us for our differences. So I was judging me, you know, but you are too different. You, you know, you don't, you're Brazilian, uh, you know, you like uh, capoeira, you know, your hair is too long. I mean, I started to, to think about the difference that I had as my weakness. For a long time, I was like that, long time. Before I, you know, before I get to understand what I am sharing with you today. So I judge myself for my differences and because I, wa I wanted to look like the other guy or the other girl that was doing in the right way. So that took me far away from what I'm doing now. So when I start to embracing my uniqueness, you know, my differences and, and using that in my favor, so that's what you should do to connect with your purpose. Your difference is your power. I also discovered that by not loving who you really are, it's actually a disservice that you that we are doing to the world. We cannot we, we cannot connect with purpose if self-love is not aligned. It's impossible. And if you don't love yourself, you cannot connect with purpose. So that's why uh, self-development is so important because you get to know because who you really are. If my mom didn't met my dad, I was not going to be alive today. It's easier for us to win the lottery than we be who we really are. You know? So this is, this is kind of like, this is kind of like a, a gift to ourselves when we think about that. Because then we stop, we stop judging ourselves. Because when we judge ourselves, we cannot connect with purpose. Understand what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to give different ways for you to connect with yourself, give you different roads to connect with purpose. You connect with your purpose and know more about you. Okay, guys, so let's go three minutes in the room. What do people compliment you on frequently? Let's go. Somebody want to share something about this question, the last question. Yeah, Anna, want to share something? Yeah, uh, for the last maybe like six months, I started to realize that people really feel really, really comfortable around me. And, and they also tell me a lot and they say they like my presence and my energy. And I, I, to be honest, a few years ago, I thought I was very unsocial. So it was actually really interesting and I opened in to, to hear all this feedback from the people. So it was nice. This gives a clue about your own pet. Yeah, for it. sure. What, like what I want to do right now, it's work with people for sure and empower them. But like I put a lot of emphasis on relations, a relationship with people. So I'm yeah. yeah, I really love being around people and working with them. That's a huge ability to do the work you want to do, right? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Are really happy with it, actually. So, so that's that's what I mean. Is sometimes we, you know, sometimes we take for granted what people are telling us about us. And that is like a clue, you know. I don't know about, uh, you know, even uh, it's somebody else want to share something more. I just wanted to say that with every person that I've been uh, connected to in these rooms, we have something. It's like the universe just, oh, you should see this person. So it's quite nice to see that everything uh, works out exactly as it should be. I think that I, I have a position in my work that people come to me. Exactly as you say, Ricardo, that sometimes I forget and I take for granted because I just feel comfortable maybe in those things. And I don't even like analyze like shit, you could like go on and, and, and just feel those things and, and create from, from that point. Also, I think that we are not so used to compliments. And not in Sweden. I think that we're very yeah. delicate here in Sweden. So I'm going to go back to work on Thursday. And I'm going to be all all giving all compliments all the time. <laughs> your difference is your power. That is a, that's a game changer. Great to have a reminder of that. And that is something that I should probably tattoo on my arm or something. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I, I love it. I love it. That's really powerful. 
It's like yeah. when, when we actually understand that like in a deeper level, that's a game changer, as you said. What do people compliment you frequently? 